for for everything just literally went to Hades. Okay. I'm just going to pick up where I left off. I'm just going to start in Jeremiah 20 and go. The word of the Lord to Peshur. Now Peshur, the son of Immer, the priest who was the chief governor in the house of the Lord, heard that Jeremiah prophesied these things. Then Peshur struck Jeremiah the prophet and put him in the stocks that were in the high gate of Benjamin, which was by the house of the Lord. And it happened on the next day that Peshur brought Jeremiah out of the stocks. Then Jeremiah said to him, The Lord has not called your name, Peshur, but Magor, Hezabib, Mizabib. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will make you a terror to yourself and to all your friends, and they shall fall by the sword of their enemies, and your eyes shall see it. I will give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall carry them captive to Babylon and slay them with the sword. Moreover, I will deliver all the wealth of this city, all its produce and all its precious things, all the treasures of the kings of Judah. I will give into the hand of their enemies who will plunder them, seize them and carry them to Babylon. And you, Peshur, and all who dwell in your house shall go into captivity. You shall go to Babylon, and there you shall die, and be buried there, you and all your friends, to whom you have prophesied lies. Jeremiah's unpopular ministry. O oh Lord, you induced me, and I was persuaded. You are stronger than I, and have prevailed. I am derision. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocks me, for when I spoke, I cried out. I shouted, violence and plunder. Because the word of the Lord was made to me a reproach and a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart like a burning fire. Shut up in my bones. I was weary of holding it back, and I could not. For I heard many mocking fear on every side. Report, they say, and, I, and we will report it. All my acquaintances watched for my stumbling, saying, Perhaps he can be induced. Then we will prevail against him, and we will take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a mighty awesome one. Therefore my persecutors will stumble, and we will not prevail. They will be greatly ashamed, for they will not prosper. Their everlasting confusion will never be forgotten. But, O Lord of hosts, you who test the righteous and see the mind and heart, let me see your vengeance on them. For I have pleaded my cause before you. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has delivered the life of the Lord from the hand of evildoers. Cursed be the day in which I was born. Let the day not be blessed in which my mother bore me. Let the man be cursed who brought news to my father saying, A male child has been born to you, making him very glad. And let that man be like the cities which the Lord overthrew and did not relent. Let him hear the cry in the morning and the shouting at noon, because he did not kill me from the womb, that they mother that my mother might have been my grave, and her womb always enlarged with me. Why did I come forth from the womb to see labor and sorrow, that my days should be consumed with shame? Jeremiah twenty one. Jeremiah's doom is sealed. I mean, geez, Jerusalem's doom is sealed. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord when King Zedekiah sent to him, Peshur, the son of Melchiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Maasiah, this priest saying, Please inquire of the Lord for us, for Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, makes war against us. Perhaps the Lord will deal with us according to all his wonderful works, that the king may go away from us. Then Jeremiah said to them, Thus you shall say to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, with which you fight against the king of Babylon and the Chaldeans, who besiege you outside the walls, and I will assemble them in the midst of the city. I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm, even in anger and fury and great wrath. I will strike the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast. They shall die of a great pestilence. And afterward, says the Lord, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, his servants and the people and such as are left in this city from the pestilence and the sword and the famine into the hand 
of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of those who seek their life, and he shall strike them with the edge of the sword. He shall not spare them or have pity or mercy. Now you shall say to this people, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He who remains in this city shall die by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence. But he who goes out and defects to the Chaldeans who besiege you, he shall live, and his life shall be a surprise to him. He tried to warn them. If you go and surrender, go out now, go and surrender to them. You get to live. You'll be slaves, but you'll live. And his life shall be a surprise to him. For I have set my face against this city for adversity and not for good, says the Lord. It shall be given into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. Did they listen? No, they did not. Message to the house of David. All concerning the house of the king of Judah say, Hear the Lord, word of the Lord, O house of David, thus says the Lord. <sighs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Execute judgment in the morning and deliver him who is plundered out of the hand of the oppressor, lest my fury go forth like fire and burn so that no one can quench it. Because of the evil of your doings, behold, I am against you, O inhabitant of the valley. And rock of the plain, says the Lord, who say, who shall come down against us, or who shall enter our dwellings? But I will punish you according to the fruit of your doing, says the Lord. I will kindle a fire in its forest, and it shall devour all things around it. Second Timothy 4. Preach the word. I charge you, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Now, who is it that Paul's talking to? Who is it that Paul was ministering to? Only the uh, disciples of Jesus? No. No, everybody. The Gentiles, the Jews, the Greeks, the Romans, everybody. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Guess what? We're there, people. We're there, but according to their own desires because they have itching ears. They will only want to hear preaching on the good stuff, the stuff that's not scary. They only want to hear preaching on the happy stuff. They don't want to hear about end times. They don't want to hear about Bible prophecy being fulfilled. They don't want to hear about the book of Revelation or anything in it because it's scary. It's not fun. It's not happy. And it doesn't make them feel warm and fuzzy when they leave church. We are there. That's where we are now. Most, I think, I think Pastor Brandon Holthouse said only 3% of churches actually teach Bible eschatology or end times or Bible prophecy. 3%, three in the United States, 3%. You know how many in Oklahoma teach it? One, one church and it's in Edmond. That is a shame. That is a crying shame. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears. And I'm talking about as far as teaching eschatology and Bible end times and Bible prophecy. And, you know, keeping pe keeping the flock up to date on the end times and where we are in the Bible prophecies being fulfilled as we speak and all converging at once at that. Yeah, they will. Keep up for themselves, teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Paul's valedictory, 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 yeah, whatever. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. Oh, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. That reminds me, there's an excellent, excellent movie called Translated. 
we watched it at the old church I used to go to on movie night. Excellent, excellent, excellent movie. It's called Translated. Watch it. The Abandoned pa Apostle. Be diligent to come to me quickly, for Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world, and has departed for Thessalonica. Uh, Crescens, Cres Crescens, Crescens, I think. Because if you think of crescent rolls, crescents, crescents, for Galatia, Titan, Titus, for Dama Dalmatia, only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is useful to me for ministry. And Tych Tychicus, I have sent to Ephesus. Bring the cloak that I left with Carpus at Troas when you come, and the books, especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm. May the Lord repay him according to his works. You also must beware of him, for he has greatly resisted our words. At my first defense, no one stood with me, but all forsook me. May it not be charged against them. The Lord is faithful. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, so that the message might be preached fully through me, and that all the Gentiles might hear. Also, I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion, and the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Come before winter, great Prisca and Aqu Aquila, and the household of uh, oh, I can't remember how to say this word, Onesiphorus. Uh, Onesiphorus. Oh, my phone's almost dead. Oh, how, of course. <sighs> Swear. I'll see if it'll stay on long enough to hear how to say this word, because I've come across this before, and it bugged me then, too. No. Any time. Any time, search. N E. O N E. S I P H O R. I was hoping I'd get the lips. Onesiphorus. Onesiphorus. Okay. Onesiphorus. I don't care what it means. Shut up. Oh, Lord Jesus. Shut up. Onesiphorus. Onesiphorus. Aristatus. Erastus, however you say it, stayed in Corinth, but Trophimus, I have left in Miletus sick. Oh, come on with these names. Do your utmost to come before winter. And I thought the Old Testament was hard. Really. Eubulus greets you as well as Pudens, Linus, Claudia, and all the brethren. Farewell. The Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. Okay, that is yesterday's daily bread. I will get today's going and I will be right back. Shalom.